What's up my YouTube world? Every time I post any kind of video anymore, uh, everyone just wants to see videos about growing your teeth. It's a very fascinating subject, something I'm very interested in. And um, my tooth has not grown 100%, it's still growing. And there is a few reasons for that we can talk about. But I have a video pulled up, I'm going to show you guys from a Canadian um, dentist, I guess you could say, who's been growing teeth for like nine years. This video is from 2012. Okay, and he has a machine where you can actually grow your teeth. He accidentally discovered it with rabbits. He was trying to grow their jawline. So I'm going to show you guys this video. And also another thing I want to talk about is the child in India who grew like 500 teeth in his mouth. That's another uh, thing we can look at. So a big part of what I want to talk about, first of all, is different evidence for growing your teeth, showing evidence around the world. I am a journalist, so I'm always fascinated in finding out different miracle stories and all that kind of stuff. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys this video, and then we can talk about it. And then I'm going to talk to you about my next plan to grow my tooth. To continue growing my tooth and why it's not growing 100%. Okay, so let's see if we can check out this video. Alright, let's get this a toothless grin. It's a Canadian invention that not only plugs the gaps, but fills the holes with brand new pearly whites. CTV's Deborah Shirey explains. Chris Miller getting some time in oh. the spot, and Ryan Smith is down and hurt. It was a jaw-dropping shot as Edmonton Oiler Ryan Smith takes a puck to the face, and yes, those are his teeth. It's, as quickly as possible for it's too late for Smith's smile, but researchers at the University of Alberta could have a cure for future toothless hockey grins. An ultrasound device that regrows human teeth. Tariq Albiali was researching jaw growth in rabbits. Accidentally, when I applied the ultrasound, I found the lower incisor grow, grow, grow. Albiali is the first to try the treatment on humans. After 20 minutes a day, new teeth started to grow in a month. With this device, we'll get these roots together, held them together, healing it together, and keep it forever. Albi Ali's machine was too big, so he teamed up with nanotech expert Jai Chen, who scaled it down from this to this. After you using this treatment, then you can throw away. So this is like a one-time use for you, and you can put it on easily. What we're working on is more like a user-friendly. Professors at the University of Alberta have already filed a patent for this invention. While it's obviously still in the prototype phase, scientists here are hopeful it could hit the market in as little as two years would have a fantastic practical application. No one knows more about losing teeth than Oilers dentist Anthony Sneezewell. He says time is limited when it comes to saving teeth. If we can get to the point where it doesn't matter because we can use this device, then it's going to improve situations where we can reimplant teeth and they'll, they'll be successful long term. For now, all the attention has taken Tariq Albiali off guard. No, I don't have time to see my patients. <laughs> and he can't wipe the smile off his face. Alright guys, so that video right there... That video right there is called Growing Back Teeth. It aired February 19th, 2012. So that's been out for like nine years. And they said the pattern will be ready in two years. So that means it's already been out. They've already been gr growing teeth out there with this device that uses ultrasonic waves. And um, it sounds really interesting. So that is one evidence that I wanted you guys to see. The channel is called Higher Consciousness. That was on the news, guys. So I'm going to have to call that guy and see what's going on and research that guy. So that will be a whole other video. And then I wanted to show you guys the Indian child who grows 500 teeth. Okay. There we go. This could be it. This little boy in India is feeling a lot better after a recent dental procedure. It wasn't your typical flossing and cleaning, though. 
That's because he had over 500 teeth removed from his mouth, according to doctors. The seven-year-old had complained of swelling on one side of his lower jaw for several years. Upon examination, doctors discovered a large benign tumor, and within that tumor, hundreds of small, hard, tooth-like structures. The small teeth are sometimes known as odontoids or denticles. Specialists array them by size for further examination. The boy's medical condition is called compound composite odontoma, and it is so rare only a handful of people are known to have experienced it. Another well-publicized instance occurred in 2014, also in India. In that case, a teenager from the city of Mumbai had over 200 teeth removed from their mouth. Doctors aren't certain what causes the abnormal growth, but fortunately, they are able to treat those who have it. This is InsideEdition.com. All right, so that's another story. So if a child, oop. If a child can grow 500 teeth, then I'm sure we can grow extra teeth. And why India? Two kids in India. Do you think it's the turmeric? I think it might be. So anyways, I wanted to end off to tell you guys where I'm at. Alright, let me get this better here. Okay. And talk to you guys about what I'm going to do next. Alright, so I've realized that we are supposed to have a special tongue position because what happens is our mouth isn't actually big enough to keep all of our teeth. And that's why our teeth get pushed together. And so when we were young, we did this. <laughs> uh, anyways, when you sleep, you're not supposed to go. You're supposed to have your mouth closed. If you're not speaking, you're not eating, then you're supposed to have your mouth closed with your tongue on top of your mouth. Okay, so what happens is, you can see here, no, I'm all broken out here, let's go this side maybe. See my jawline? See the difference? <laughs> so anyways, when we're kids and we suck our, our thumb and maybe we don't get enough breastfeeding or something, we just start opening our mouth and then our jaw is like sucked in. So then, if we don't have enough space in our jaw, we're not going to grow new teeth. So I've realized my jaw is all cramped up. My teeth are all pushed together. So I'm not... The tooth has nowhere to go. It doesn't have the space. So what I'm doing right now is expanding my jawline and, and making space for my new teeth. My new tooth. It's still growing. It just doesn't have anywhere to go. So everyone be paying attention to their tongue position. There's a bunch of YouTube videos out there about tongue position. And it really is going to make a difference. If you have kids, go ahead and tell them where to put their tongue. They need to sleep with their tongue on top of their mouth. And it's going to completely affect their jawline, affect their teeth. Make sure their, their teeth um, have space. And that's the best thing you guys can do along with the coconut oil pulling. I'm going to revisit coconut oil pulling soon. We talk about exactly what to do with the coconut oil pulling. And I still 100% believe you can grow teeth. Um, it's just taking a little longer than I want. I haven't been completely 100% on the coconut oil pulling every single moment. But um, it does make your teeth whiter. It does make your teeth smoother. So if you don't do the coconut oil pulling, your teeth are not as smooth, even if you brush your teeth. Even just brushing your teeth with coconut oil. So what else? Uh, diet is key. Um, I'm mostly on the carnivore diet and I have started doing uh, dairy. And I think that getting a lot of calcium is going to be really good for my bones to get strong and grow. And I do believe my teeth, my tooth is growing in. It's just taking a lot longer than I would like. But as you can see, there's technology now, ultrasonic waves. That can actually make your teeth grow and that was developed more than nine years ago so i will be posting a video on the update of that guy from canada and what he's doing maybe even interview him that'd be really really cool to interview the guy and see what happened with that why don't we know about it why is that not uh news that we are hearing about 
Thank you guys for watching my channel. I'm so sorry I haven't been posting, but um, I haven't been feeling 100% confident and I didn't have internet for a while. Now I got internet so I can stream and put videos up. I'm so happy and I miss you guys and YouTube is so important to me. Just being able to talk to everyone, have someone to talk to, someone out there that's listening and someone who's appreciating what I have to say. So I really hope this channel um, helps you guys. I hope this video helps you guys. And thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye, guys.